is the new Better Touch Tool 0.577. This is the newest version of Better Touch Tool by um, Friday, May 28, 2010. So I'm going to show you guys the best features it has and most features that it can do. And I'll let you guys figure out the rest. And by the way, the preset that I use will be in the description for you to download. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing is, let me just go ahead and start off, not with gestures, but start off with the action settings. This is the newest feature with Better Touch Tool. And what it includes is window snapping, window moving and resizing, and stuff, which is application switcher, alternate CMD flip which is on, most, on some systems with standard method for generating CS doesn't work very well so uh, activate if you have problems so that's, those are just mainly for that but I would be recommending the Apple uh, the application switcher, the special one if you're going to use TipTap for it and I'll go more in depth on that a little later window moving and resizing what this does is if you have a finder window open or any window application anything and you hold down alt you can resize a window without clicking anything. If you hold down control, you can move the window anywhere you want without touching anything. And that's how you do that. Now let's move on to the next section, window snapping. What you can do with window snapping is if you have a bunch of windows open, and you want to put it somewhere, but it's so messy that you don't want to just drag it everywhere. And you don't want to go like this, and you don't want to go like this. What you want to do is you want to just, all you have to do is move it, to the left side, and as you can see, it maximizes it to the left. If you move it to the right corner, maximizes it to the corner. Make a new one. You could center it. You could go like this. Oops, I accidentally went to the next space. That way, centering um, was the predefined action I have set up already. So don't get confused on that. No full screen. Take it back. Um, so that's basically that. That is the resizing. You can um, change the size and stuff of each thing, and that's about it. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's go ahead and. Um, okay, so let's head over to the gestures section now. And what we're gonna do with gestures is we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I have um, and how it works. So I'm first gonna show you guys how it works. First, what you wanna do is you wanna um, click on add new gesture over here. In a new version, you'll see that it gives you a little um, thing over here on what you're supposed to do. So when you go ahead and click Add New Gesture, it'll open up a Please Select Gesture section. Then you go over here, Touchpad Gesture. Click on it. By the way, you should be in the Touchpad section on the top, not on Magic Mouse, unless you're using a Magic Mouse, of course. Or um, I haven't used Keyboard yet, so I don't know. So Touchpad Gesture, you can choose whatever gestures you want. There's a bunch. So like you just choose a new gesture, for example, um, three finger tap. No, I already do. I already have that one. For example, you select a gesture, any gesture you want. Let me just choose one that I already have that I don't have. And as you can see over here, when you choose a gesture, you could either choose it in different applications, or you could choose it in global, which is all your applications. So I recommend doing it in global, not only in one. And to choose one, you just click this little add button over there, and you can pick an application. So you can do like one of them will be bold for only Microsoft Word. As you can see, finger bottom top left would be bold for me. Middle is italic and Q underline is the right bottom. <coughs> Safari I have tip up left, new tab. I mean tip like this, this, and then like this, this. <coughs> that will switch tabs. For example, let me show you. I can just go between tabs like this. Sorry, it's lagging. Let me just. If I just go to my Mac, I have to pull one. I have to pull one. Yahoo pull one. Apple pull one. So you can see whenever I do this. So it works. Um, I have a couple other things you can do. Um, I'm not going to go completely in-depth inside everything I have because it's, it's a lot of stuff. So I'll have this download link um, for the default one that I have in the description. Um, you can play with it see, what it, see what you like, see what you don't like. <coughs> Make sure you look at it before you use it because 
Um, you may accidentally do something that you don't like. Um, I can do this for application switcher. Uh, yeah. So make sure your application switcher is on special whenever you set this up. And keep it as a startup menu. And remember, this also works for Magic Mouse. It also works for this. It's a really awesome application. Um, you can do this, 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 this. Um, what else could you do? Those are just the regular ones. You can go down, spaces, like that. Um, you can go to Finder, click on this one. Three fingers up would be that. Three fingers back down would be that. And you can do the same thing this way. Um, you can do the triangle swipe, which would be this one goes to the right, this one goes to the left, this one centers it, this one also centers it. Uh, <coughs> like I said, there's <coughs> the window snapping. So, um, all the good stuff. Uh, you can do the five finger tap. You can, for example, if I'm going to have five a window open and have a bunch of new tabs and a bunch of new windows, YouTube, and I want to quit my Safari, all I have to do is three fingers and tap. And as you can see, it says to push enter over here. Like if I push enter, the quit button over here will go away. So what all I have to do is I have to do four fingers because four fingers for me is enter or five fingers is enter, just a tap. So four finger tap, and it quits everything. So very um, easy access to quitting. Um, also, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I've set it up so that when I hold command, I could zoom in like this. Um, I can also zoom in with, by holding command and alt and going back and forth like this. But I like zooming in like this because that's the way that iPhone does it. And it looks pretty cool like that. So um, there isn't really much more except for in system preferences. I can swipe back and forth between certain things because usually you're not allowed to do that unless it's like unless you use a better touch tool. So that's basically all of my better touch tool settings. Um, I haven't showed you every, every single one of them, of course, because I have like a hundred of them. Um, there's a bunch of predefined actions over here. So you can just look through these, um, volume, maximize size, the next page, page down. Um, it's a bunch of new stuff that you can do. So it's just a fun thing to play around with. Um, uh, the download link will be in the description. I hope you like this application. It's free. Only works for Snow Leopard, and it's the best application ever in the whole entire world, I think. Thank you, creators of this program. I'm very thankful that you've made it. And um, thanks again. Goodbye.